pirates like this a life for me. Hey! How in the but I am see the garden see. I still rub our flag real high. Oh, where has that diaper been? Chucky, Chucky, Chucky. If we're choosing Dill or Chucky, who we choosing? Mm. Mm. This week's episode of Two Freckled Friends is brought to you by Quiet on the Set. God, I loved being a 90s Nickelodeon kid. Did you? A lot of the stuff that happened in that doc, technically nothing was mentioned in the 90s. I thought about that too. Like the culture was different because, you know, in the 90s, they mostly filmed in Florida. And then in the 2000s, they moved to LA. Something to do with it. So many people really need to hear what you had to say. You talk a lot about being alone, being isolated. And so I think what you're doing is really important. Hold on, crackhead is outside yelling. Hey, what's up everybody? It's your girl, Allie. And your forever 90s kid, Brooke. Thank you so much for tuning into a brand spanking new episode of Two Freckled Friends. If you grew up watching Nickelodeon in the 90s or 2000s, but really in the 90s, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to this channel by clicking on that beautiful button, as well as tapping on the bell icon to staying up to date with the latest notifications as to when we drop new episodes right here on Two Freckled Friends. This week, this is taking me back to Easter Sunday. This VHS cassette tape in its beautiful orange glory was in my Easter basket from the Easter Bunny. And I watched it all day and it's been a very long time since I've seen it. Brooke, why don't you tell all of the 90s Nickelodeon kids out there what we're watching? I think you're right. I think this was in my Easter basket too, now that you mentioned Come on, hood! Cookie Lee having a nostalgic moment that has remember. nothing to do with the hood. Oh, let's give it up one time. Let's do it. Oh, she needs some love. This is the Masters on CBS. The tradition unlike any other, the Masters on CBS. Today, we are watching the 1998 Rugrats. Is it the Rugrats movie or is it Rugrats the movie. We're watching the Rugrats movie. This is when Rugrats went downhill when Dill came into the picture. Should have left Dill off the picture. Nickelodeon The Rugrats movie. God, that's a weird title. Cause the second one's Rugrats in Paris. Rugrats is one of the best cartoon series of the millennial generation. Once they become teens, like, like no. All grown up? No. Yeah, I ain't watch it. They would be our age now. Who would have student loan debt? Tommy wouldn't have, Phil and Lil would. Tommy would definitely have student loan debt. Chucky wouldn't either, cause his mother probably had a really good insurance policy. May she rest in peace. It's all right, Chucky. Don't be scared. Susie wouldn't, and we damn know Angelica's ass. Trust fund, baby. Okay. <laughs> Phil and Lil, Sally and Fanny. And I'm not talking cousins, I'm talking May. But if you're brand new to our channel, what we're going to do is Brooke and I will watch the Rugrats movie. We will give our own thoughts, and from those thoughts, we will provide this movie with its official freckle score. So without further ado, the Nickelodeon iconic, the one, the only Nickelodeon, the Rugrats movie. Let's roll it. All right, here we go. And three, two, one, hey. <laughs> Oh, you remember those vacuum cleaners? Dun, 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 dun. What? Why is the Rugrats movie the beginning of Wild Thornberries? This place gives me the juice bubs. She passed away, right? The woman who played his voice. You go back. Very back. Okie dokie Jones never goes back. <gasps> Hang on to your diapers, baby. We're going in. That's Tommy Pickles. The bravest baby I ever knowed. That's 
still a little. They like worms. And I'm Chucky. I'm not so brave. But I got Tommy. And he's my bestest friend. Why does Tommy's diaper stay looking full? Because it is. His diaper could very well compete with Pee Wee's diaper and Bebe's kids. Y'all smell something? Pee Wee, is that you? You kids shouldn't be playing in here. That's so disrespectful. They just call this pregnant woman a rolling boulder. But we was wrong. <laughs> Sir Daisy Dean. Thank you for inviting me to your baby shower, Mrs. Pickle. Susie always polite. My mommy's assistant bought it especially for my Aunt Dee Dee's party. <laughs> my mommy's assistant. Don't say a word. <laughs> Who's got eight, seven, twelve? Twelve pounds? What are you, crazy? Harvey tells she's gained any weight. Okay. <gasps> From behind. A goat? What the hell are we gonna do with a goat? I'll get back. You ate my begonias. You try finding good yak these days. <laughs> I'm saving it for my baby sister. They're giving her this big party. Pretty sure today's the day. How's our little man? Dr. Lipschitz says it's a girl. That windbag thought Phil and Lil were intestinal gas. Right in high, it's a guy. Born under Venus, look for a... Hello? Uh, I don't see any of you with a PhD in that. Oh, they yeah. said if your belly sat low, it was a boy. And if it was high, it was a girl. Let's not do any gender stereotyping. 1998. Do and Drew are brothers, and they get along just fine. Bossy! Inconsiderate! Nosy! Good for nothing! Why can't you listen to me? me? We're talking about a real job, Stu, with benefits. Bum benefits? You barely make ends meet now. A bum. You've got no insurance, no savings, and another Get on the way. I'm working on something right now that is going to put this brand on easy street. How he got no savings, no benefits, but he got a three-story house like that. It's the 90s. It's a myth. This is the Reptar Wagon. The perfect children's toy. Big bag of dirt clods. That's what the kids want. The Reptar Corporation is holding a toy design contest. $500. Ooh. Not enough. And I'll be famous. That's what you said when you built that stupid thing. Again, you have a basement big enough to hoist that? I am Reptar. I am Reptar. <laughs> Why did I not remember Stu was an inventor? You don't remember that? An entrepreneur. He actually could put on his, he was a toy inventor. That's what his dating app would say. Tell me somebody's big color at your room. What benefit? You sister, we don't even know what she looks like. She's a girl like me. She'll be pretty full. The millennials' plight is coming out so hard at me right now. I gotta get back to the dessert table before the grown-ups get all the good stuff. Can you help us find my baby sister? When the new baby gets here, your mommy and daddy will forget all about you. Look, dude, there's that little bald kid in the house again. My mommy and daddy will love me no matter what. A baby is a special. Why is a little black girl out there entertaining folks? <laughs> A baby is a little chicken, a cuddly chicken. A baby will get all the toys. Angelica, Susie, a baby poops in his panties. <laughs> no, a baby is a gift, a gift from above, from above, above. Uh oh. It's time. It's time. Everybody to your stations, people. Show it. Charge your brief. Come on, he got a pickle to deliver. How somebody get them dishes? Oh no! To the Verna P. Lipschitz Center. He always entertained me. Welcome to the Verna P. Mrs. Pickles, you weren't due till next week now, dear. You had a baby shower a week before? Lipschitz promised us the all natural Zen experience. In my day, woman just dropped out a baby in the potato field and kept going. <laughs> Do you have anything a little cleaner? She's having the baby, not the gavilda fish. Randy called to say you were on your way. How far apart are the pain tongue? Oh, look his hand. Let's go and get you settled in. Mommy's going to be okay. Your mommy sure seems upset. Baby sister really is lost then. Oh, maybe we can buy a new oh, one. Mercy, where you got the diaper? Ain't nobody watching the kids? Nobody? 
Got any queens? Go fish. Go fish. Hmm, a baby store. Hmm, my son making it. Help me pick one my mom will like. <laughs> So this is the world? Why do they always give a black baby blue rolls? <laughs> How blue can you get? I need a change. Something new to me. I love the extra leg room. They cut my cord. Oh, consider yourself lucky. Excuse me? This world is something new to me. I gotta figure out who these voices are. That's what that thing looks like. Ba, 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 ba. This world is something new to me. Not the urine fountain turned into a rainbow. There you are. You kinder gave my ticker such a scare. All right, Dee, Dee you can do it. This is what happens when you do acid. Big Bang Theory. A whole universe was in a hot, dense state. It's Gorgeous. She's a boy. <laughs> Wonderful, sweet baby boy. I guess we won't be naming him after my mother. Dylan Prescott Pickles. Dill Pickles. Here you go, Sprout. Okay. I want you to meet someone very special. This is your brother, Dylan. Dill, this is Tommy. Baby. I see, again, a three-story house. James, what are we gonna do? You already have a child. You know what you have to go Somehow through. Somehow it's not as much fun around here. Why are they still babysitting other people's kids and they have a newborn? Maybe he's broke. He's not broke. Just a little loud. Why is Angelica there? Nobody cares. Nobody cares about this family. Nobody cares, John. That's the real truth. Nobody cares. The only one sleeping grandpa. That is like old people. The amazing monkeys in fresh yes. The banana brothers monkeys are good. Why? It's enough of a circus around here already. Thank you, Grandpa. You stay here and watch monkeys, I get us coffee. I get us coffee. Yet, monkeys watch you, I get coffee. Nothing is better in St. Petersburg. <laughs> Y'all were the only two. <laughs> we ain't St. Denis, though. They got direct TV and Stu ain't got no benefits? Your wish has been granted. Please help. Why would you have a kid when you have a kid that tiny and you can't take care of the kid that tiny? Can we just read to this child, please? Why don't you sing Dylan Lullaby? I'm too tired to sing. But you're not too tired to build a reptar. Please rest your head. Time, Time for, for a bed. bed. Come on, keep rhyming. Our little quadruped. It didn't work. I know. Babies pick up on the energy, so it's like, why would the baby want to go to sleep if when you holding them, you're giving off the energy like go the fuck to sleep? Close your eyes like that. <laughs> Tommy's like your shoe, bra. I feel bad for Tommy. He has to share a room yeah. with that thing. Time for bed. Both of us being the babies of the family. I don't feel bad for the eldest sibling. That poor child feels neglected. He feels neglected. He's hiding in the closet. Tommy's an exception. And Spike's outside in the rain, howling Missy Elliott at the moon. They shouldn't have had another kid. They weren't ready. They should just have hired help. He can't afford benefits. You wouldn't want to get shipped to Japan with reptiles, would you? Dill, that's Tommy's blanket. <laughs> Look at that grin. Uh, they'll be here to pick it up any minute. Watch Shirley Lock Holmes at our house. Baby squawking the whole time. Daddy's got to put in a little overtime today. How come you told mommy Aunt Dee Dee got saddled with a loser? <gasps> My tax deductions are crying. You can't deduct them if you don't have any income! That part. Boys, what are you doing? Why don't you come with me for a minute? We weren't gonna give you this until you were a little bit older, but Grandpa Lou put your picture inside. You have a little brother now, and that's a big change. Still can be pretty tough to get along with, huh? That's why big brothers have got to have faith. You've got responsibility now. Be a swell big brother. He's a year old. Responsibility. Why is the goat in the house? Uh, we are. 
Gills. I bet it could take us to the baby store. We could take Gil to the hospital. Yeah, get Tommy's money yeah. back. <laughs> they want Tommy's money back. They think Gil's defective. Tommy would be happy. Yeah, yeah I don't know. We're going to get your monies back. What? My mommy and daddy want to keep him. See? Why? All he does is cry and poop. Like you. So do you. Thank you. You're pooping off a lot. Oh. Knock it off. Sissy and me are trying to watch TV. Hey, hands off the merchandise, Pinky. Oh. Be nice, Angelica. He didn't mean it. You want to ride in a wagon? I'll give you a ride. Oh, my show! Next commercial, you babies are in big trouble! All aboard! How was the door open? Why is Grandpa asleep right there? Wait for me! So you can hear a goat, but you can't hear these children leaving? Oh, my God. Which way to the obstacle? Well, the styrofoam, eating the peanuts. Pick up for pickles to Japan. Take it away. Yes, please take that goat away. Yeah, have a good day. Hi, down, Spike. You forgot that quick? Give me back my... Oh, yeah. not around the block. I want those fugitives getting custardy. <laughs> Pop and I are doing fine taking care of the uh, Pop. Well, where's the crate? Oh, oh, the delivery folks must have come. They loaded her up on everything, huh? Let me talk to Tommy. Where are the kids? They were here a minute ago playing in the, uh, the, the crate. crate. I'm going to have to call you back. <laughs> They on the mattress truck? Oh no. How could you fall asleep when you were supposed to be watching the kids? Keeping up with what he does the whole time. I'll never find the babies with this jerk in front of us. Oh my god. Oh my god. He said fuck that truck. <laughs> I've turned this plane upside down. There are no children. That was also pre 9 11 on a 740 or 757 tearing open cargo. You gotta find them. Find what? <gasps> Einstein here lost the kids. Kill him. I'm gonna kill it. Go, baby. Go. Get over here. This place is bigger than the park in the backyard. Is there a tracking device in the Reptar? With Lojack, you are in control. Send the homing signal directly to police cars. With Lojack, you get your car back quickly while it's still worth getting back. I think your feather is broke again. He's not broke. He's trying to poop. Dill, are you okay? He's pushing out a big one. Pooping! Yeah! <laughs> I guess we'll have to change his diaper. But you don't change your diaper. What do you mean, Rick? Can't believe you left them with your father. The man slept through Pearl Harbor. He sure did. Sounded the alarm as soon as I could. Thing is, Child Protective Services should have been called on his family. Any underworld or mob connections? He is a baby. <laughs> <laughs> Who packed powder? Look out! I Chucky ain't asked for this. Your brother made a frog jump on me. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Figure out how to get home. They don't even know where we are. I know. I've got my sponsority. Sounds yucky. That's what you get for being a big brother. Okie dokie Jones uses when he has to find his way home. Thought so that's called a crumpus. Where'd you say to go? That's the way. Can Spike smell the kids? <laughs> She would be a quadriplegic. She would be Christopher Reeve. Nobody's prepared for this. No one's prepared for this. Not all dogs go to heaven. Is it true a dingo ate your baby? How many picks of pickled peppers did you pick? A time of innocence. A time of joy. Is this Tim Curry? Hundreds of parasites out there, armed to the teeth. Do bundle up. It's awfully cold outside. Unrelenting tragedy. Tell us how it feels. You may never see your children again. Oh. 
Can I ask you a question? Sure. What is his head shape like? Either a yard sale or a family tragedy. I don't want to say. Let me get back to you. How does it feel knowing your brother lost your only daughter? Damn. Hear your pain. Yeah! Two sour pickles and young Tammy, baby Dale, Bill and Jill, Chunky, poor Amelia. <laughs> Every day, bro. I'm Rex Fester. Saw a delicate spike red through his guard. I ninety nine. Let's go. Grandpa, what do you want to do? You're the one who lost him. Private first class pickles reporting for duty. Left through Pearl Harbor. We're almost there. Right about now, be making me a fried bologna sandwich. The will smell a burden. See, fried bologna sandwich. That's telling you, giving you some idea around about where he's from. Stop it, Chucky. Making me hungry. Oh no! You can't see our houses from here, Tommy. Doomed. Doomed, I tell you. <laughs> Mrs. Pickle. Pickle. Can you identify this binky? <gasps> this is all Bill's fault, right, Chucky? If you hadn't have put him in the wagon in the first place. Uh, no, uh, he's just a, a baby. <laughs> Can you be mad at us because you're... Lord have mercy. I'm sorry. Look at his little butt cheeks. Uh, just what I needed. Thank you, Bill. Hey, you guys, look. Somebody's house. Maybe a lizard lives there. A big guy with a, a pointy hat. Grant wishes. Knock on the door and say we want to go home. Then everything will be back to Norman. Thank Bob. Thank you, Bob. We're off to see the lizard. I remember the thank Bob. Mm -hmm. It looks kind of like Spike's feet. If he was a giant. Feet prints like that in our storybook. Wolf made him. He ate that little red riding girl. If it was, we'd hear him say, <laughs> That was pretty good. I didn't do anything. <laughs> Time to go. Do you see the wolf? I don't know what he looks like. He's in fur! Auntie! <laughs> oh, look at Disney. <laughs> Margaret, that's your name, isn't it? Sure you run afoul of me. Not David Spade. Uh. <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> Hit the road, Bucky. <laughs> oh, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> I've got to look up all the celebs. Yeah, they have a lot of people in this. Wolves, Wolverines, and dragons. Ah! Is that Whoopi? I know better! Honey, flex your ass on up to my room at all, okay? Thank you. Stop! I don't know how! Dill's just happy, like, la di da. Dill, no! What? I saw a dragon. Margaret, I do not remember this. I've got to call headquarters. Quarters. Out here in the country, you have to be a little tougher. I got where? Where? Bingo. A rapper from a Cynthia Sweet Bar. She's been here. I figure she's tracking the sprouts. It's the pickles' blood. Why haven't y'all gone down there? We found some wheel tracks and baby footprints heading into the woods. They must be in my reptar wagon. All right, the pups are in the woods. We'll head to the ranger station and start a search from there. Oh, hut, hut, hut. I have a plan. Do you? A pirate's life is a life for me. Hey. Calling the buddy. Oh, oh, where has that diaper been? <laughs> Chucky, Chucky, Chucky. If we're choosing Dill or Chucky, who we choosing? Mm -hmm. Oh, Lordy. Fish. Look at that. I didn't know we were going tubing. Bobby, why didn't you help me? He needed me in the trust the baby. Chucky, you didn't ask for that. Guess what, fellow freckles? We have some exciting news. Two Freckled Friends now has an official Kofi page. Kofi is the best way to stay up to date with what's going on with the channel, as well as being able to make donations or contributions. People have been asking us what's the best way to donate to the channel, and you can do that from Kofi. ko-fi.com forward slash Two Freckled Friends. You can choose any type of donation, whether it's one time or monthly. If you're not able to financially contribute, 
no worries. Brooke and I are having so much fun making these episodes. We're going to make Two Freckle Friends the biggest, best, baddest show it can possibly be. But if you're feeling generous with that tax refund, <laughs> I'm talking to you, Spanky. The website is Kofi, ko-fi.com forward slash Two Freckle Friends. Again, Kofi.com forward slash Two Freckle Friends. We'll also drop the link in the description below. All right, back to the show. <laughs> No. Knew my Dactar would come in handy. Pop. Which way are we supposed to go? Uh, that way. Chucky, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but Tommy was gonna let you drown, and that bothers me. Hey, look at footprints. Those are our feet prints leading us around and around, Tommy. I think you're supposed to tell these brothers like your brother. He pulled the lever. Hey, you guys. I really want to go play with the monkeys. Uh oh. What's my brother? I gotta get the diaper bag. Hey guys, help! Feeling a little like take him. Look at him. Damn. They stay the realest. Let go. They're like, oops. Can't get any worse or that. Yes. At least the monkeys are gone. And they took baby Dale with them. <laughs> where are you going, you dumb dog? Ugh. My rolly blade is crap. Oh, Spike. Ugh. Ah! Ah! How did you get that on the roof? Ready? No. Go? Yeah. Ah! 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 Here comes Tommy. I got it. Gotta finish feeding my brother. Why don't you just throw it? Look at that. My brother turned into a monkey? I'll get the lizard to wish him back into a people. The lizard's only gonna give us one wish. Use it up on Phil. How are we gonna get home? You can't do that. What would you do if Phil turned into a monkey? I like Philip. The, uh, That's not even your brother. What? Lily and Beans is... The monkey's got a tote baby doll and we just... No, like him. We're gonna find that lizard, Tommy. You can find your brother by yourself. Will you help me, Chucky? Sorry, Tommy. You let me drown. But you're my bestest friend. I got thrown up on you. Did it help me? Stand up, Chucky! I fall over, more. The monkey dropped me. Didn't even care about my boo-boo. Oh. Fine. I'll go find him by myself. Damn. You gonna let him take the diaper bag, too? With the snacks? Bloodhound! I'll find Cynthia myself! Heelys. Heelys. Walk, run, or skate to your own beat. Heelys. One way or another, I'm gonna find you! I don't remember all these songs! I'm gonna get you, get you, get you! That's the only part of the movie I remember. They ain't no wolves when they hear it. Gotta go. We out. Let's get out of this rain. <gasps> Our kids are lost in the storm. There's dragons out there. Go find somebody with a lance. Never mind him. Come with me. You're nice, Snappy. Yeah. But I'm hungry too. You didn't leave any for me. Oh, God. Beat his ass. <gasps> No blanket for anybody. Phil and Lil was right. You're never going to get any better. I don't want my responsibility no more. Why did his dad give him a one-year-old, a century-old pocket watch? You're going to leave this newborn out in the rain to get pneumonia? How come none of these babies are sick, actually? <laughs> Monkeys want bananas. Everybody gets what they want. Where'd the wolf go, though? I'm sorry. You, everything's gonna be okay. 
page. Whoa! <laughs> Why are you? <laughs> Why are you doing? Because I wanted him to put bananas on Bill. Phil, he always loved climbing on trees. Now a tree's climbed on him. <laughs> Are you guys in my shoes? <laughs> I don't like this adventure anymore, Philip. We gotta find a lizard. Baby, me, please. Shut your mouth. I'm tired of hearing all your noise. How can something so small scream so loud? Go the fuck to sleep and don't make a sound. This should be an ad for birth control. Just the scene after he's crying, they're in the rain, and it's like, use condoms. And getting chicken pox, they're getting chicken pox under the tree. Kids don't get chicken pox anymore. They did in 98. We'll never find them. Come on, baby. Guys, pickles are ground pickles. You? Is that you? We have aerial search. What is this Planet of the Apes shit going on? Not nice, monkeys. Not so fast. <laughs> Lil, Phil, you came back, Jesse. Hi, Tommy. Go back, get him. <laughs> I never know you were so brave. Well, we better get in the wagon and get out of here. <laughs> I gotta go help my bestest friend. <laughs> Over my Cynthia Finster. The monkeys is coming. Uh. Cynthia! <laughs> hey! Oh. 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 You found me! Uh. 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 Guys, monkeys, oh, help! Chucky, the lizard's house! Uh. How long is it gone? A long ass time oh. for some infants. Oh. <laughs> I don't wanna be Monkey Boy! Baby! Yeah! Yeah! Thanks, Bill! You're my hero! Pop it! <sighs> well, she's gonna need a shot. Cynthia! I can back! I can leave! You monkey! You were gonna leave me and Cynthia behind! I didn't know she could fly! I think it's cause she's a witch! Load of babies lost in the woods. <laughs> Are you out of your mind? I never wanted They're gonna crash? Jail. Oh. <laughs> How many times are you one of these fucking monkeys? We wanna go home. We wanna go home. <laughs> This Lion King esque. Brother, help me! <laughs> Damn, Spike died? Oh, Spike! I found him by the ranger station! <laughs> Please, Mr. Lizard! Get our doggy back. Spike! Rascals! You're like a sweetheart! You found our boys! But if you think things went back to the way they was thanks to Baby Dill, they was even better! Alrighty, it is time for Brooke and I to give the Rugrats movie its official freckle score. This was a good reminder, having kids ain't easy. Stu reminds me of someone who has a lot of potential, but it's too much po and not enough potential. In this era of barely paying our student loan debt, I'ma have to take Angelica's father, who's dropping off the kids because he has to go work overtime. Cause we
we got bills to pay. But the kids are fun. Chucky continues to get the shit under the stick. Phil and Lil stay starting shit. That's what they do. And Tommy has a rabbit's foot in that diaper because he just falls into it. Susie's all well behaved, trying to sing a nice song. Angelica's privileged ass, trying to ruin shit. There were a lot of heavy hitters doing the voice acting in this, which was a very pleasant surprise. The one thing that was missing for me, surprisingly, is you had a reptar toy, but you didn't have a reptar bar. And I'm like, come on now. Would I watch it again? Because it had a great voice cast, because the animation was good, it's not the best movie in the world, but it's not supposed to be. My score will be three out of five freckles. I was a Rugrat snob. I watched Rugrats every day growing up. The magic of the Rugrats when it first came out was that you had these babies who would fantasize and think there were these magical worlds that existed. And really it would just be something mundane like a movie theater or putt-putt golf or something. And that's why it was always so interesting. Like, okay, we're really inside of the baby's mind right now. The movie actually doesn't give you that. You're in the real world. And that takes away a lot of the magic for me. I'm an adult now and I'm dealing with real life now. I don't need for you to tell me about real life. Create something bigger so that I'm entertained and happier. Bring me back to being my inner child. The fact that you have Dee Dee still babysitting other people's kids after she just gave birth. The fact that you have her going to the grocery store after she just gave birth. No. She was all lovey-dovey with it. Oh you found the babies. You sure ass should have found the babies. That still doesn't mean a divorce is off the table. Let me go back to the world pre-deal because of the voice act. I'll give this two and a half freckles. Drop in the comments below your thoughts on the Rugrats movie, whether you agree or disagree with our scores. Let us know if you want us to revisit the pre-deal era of the Rugrats show. And thank you so much for tuning in to this latest episode of Two Freckle Friends. Like, comment, and subscribe to the channel by clicking on that beautiful button, as well as tap on the bell icon to stay up to date with the latest notifications as to when we drop new episodes right here on Two Freckled Friends. When they did this movie, Movie, they were obviously influenced by the wild thornberries. I just felt too much wild thornberries vibe. Who's to say that after this, they're not gonna have some sort of sickness. They're not gonna have some sort of disease. Hopefully Dill has been vaccinated. Hopefully Tommy has been vaccinated. They were running around with wild wolves, some random monkeys. I don't, the. What? First the kids star in the own movie. Now they're doing commercials. I wouldn't worry, Dee. But according to Dr. Lipschitz, if children experience fame too soon, it can go to their head. Come on, what's the worst that could happen? Mr. DeVille, I'm ready for my close-up. New Mercury Villager, now more room and more power. Preferred by grown-ups and babies.